I grew up in an orphanage on um, uh, Holloway Street down in Southeast Durham, and it was very poor. Most everything we depended off of was uh, donated from local churches or, you know, things like that. So my parents dropped me off there when I was five, and I stayed there uh, till I was about 13. So spent most of my life there in downtown Durham. I was at Durham Tech and I needed a job, so I went and got a full-time job working for a local home builder. I immediately that semester dropped out of college, worked for him for two years, and then decided that um, I could do what he's doing better than what he's doing. And this time I'm like 22, 21. Found out really quickly that I was wrong and I couldn't and I didn't know what I was doing. So I spent the next three years basically screwing stuff up. I, I would spend 10 hours doing something that should take one hour, you know, just to learn it and I would screw up and fix it and fix it. And, and Erica, she quit school and came to help me and we kind of worked together figuring this thing out. And not there long after, um, kind of started my own company called Custom Quality Carpentry, which turned into CQC. Our vision is to be the largest remodeler in North Carolina, and um, the larger we grow, the more opportunities we have. And my passion is not remodeling. My passion is, and what I enjoy, is watching people grow and thrive in environments that are unique and different. I'm just used to having the people around me be my family, and I want to help make them happy, whatever that looks like. Growing CQC and having the amount of people we have and really dedicating his life to them being happy a lot of that comes back to his childhood. Growing up in an environment where I didn't have a family, being able to kind of create my own family by creating a business that allows me to to facilitate that, I think mm -hmm. is, is that's probably, you know, it, maybe it's subconscious, but yeah, that's probably a big part of it, trying to create a family I never had for sure. Most of the people that come here are transplants, which is fantastic. We get to work with people and, and that are from all over the United States that come here and, and to see that they're taking these old homes that I've been part of my whole life that uh, in the city and, and then transforming into something that's you know special and um, works for their family is, is really cool.